by volunteers like you who have marched in years past. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the Roma family up to the stage. Thank you, Dennis. Hi, my name is Teresa Roma, and this is my husband, Adam, and our miracle twins, Louis and Estelle. Prior to their extreme premature birth, I had never heard of a NICU. Louis and Estelle came 15 weeks early, and they were emergency C-section. I never got to hear their first cry. I didn't get to hold them. Adam didn't get to cut their umbilical cords. Instead, they were being resuscitated and brought right up to the NICU. When we finally did get to see them, we were shocked at how tiny they were, just under two pounds, yet how they had every little feature of a baby. Their skin was bright red, and we couldn't touch them because their nervous system was underdeveloped. Their eyes were still fused shut, and they didn't even have cartilage yet. Their nose and ears were flat and bendable. We received a book from the March of Dimes with a bunch of terms, a glossary of terms, which helped us kind of figure out what we were gonna go through during the next few months. It was kind of mind-boggling to hear all the acronyms. It was PICC line and NEC and CBC, PDA, ROP. So it was great that March of Dimes funds this education and training for the parents. We had our ups and downs during our NICU experience. We had a sepsis and infection with Lewis. Estelle's lung had collapsed at one point. We were diagnosed with an ROP on Lewis, which could have ultimately led to blindness. We had um, a false positives on newborn screenings, making us fear severe developmental delays for Estelle. They both had a PDA hole in their heart, which closed on their own and then later reopened. So it was very up and down the whole time we were there. At 86 days, we were finally released with Lewis, only to end up being readmitted to Children's Hospital and having one child at Children's and one at Sisters. So that was a lot to juggle for, for that time period. But at 99 days, we were finally home as a family and on as NICU graduates with early intervention programs and specialist visits. Uh, we had in-home nursing care and acne and bradycardia machines. So it was a totally new lifestyle for us bringing home these miracle babies. Uh, we are excited to be here and, and supporting March of Dimes because they played a, a role in their survival. And I always knew March of Dimes was going to be a big part of my life when I was pregnant because my grandfather had passed away during my pregnancy and after he passed away, we found dimes everywhere. We found them in bed and in our bathtub, places you wouldn't expect to find dimes. And we kept trying to figure out what this message was. And the day they were born, my grandmother found two dimes in her bathroom. So we were trying to think about what the meaning could be, and her name was Marsha. We kept saying, Marsha, dimes, Marsha, dimes, Marsha dimes. So that, that was a forewarning that we were going to have these premature babies, but they were going to be OK because of Marsha dimes doing all the, the research. So thank you, thank you to Marcia Dimes, thank you to Sisters Hospital, and thank you to all of you for donating and helping continue the research to make sure that babies like mine have, have an opportunity to, to succeed. And this is proof, living proof. They're two and a half and doing amazing. So thank you, everybody. Oh, how about a nice big round of applause for the Roma family, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. wow.